everybody, Brian back with you at Strong Tower and today we're going to do a little joint mobility and see what impact your elbow might have on your knee. So we're going to start with a test retest here. Um, what I want you to do is get an idea for how deep you can get into knee flexion. So if you have a pad or a pillow, go ahead and set that on the floor. Um, we're going to start with pointing this foot. So see if we can get in that position and then we're gonna bend and sit down into a full knee flexion here. If you can, uh, if your mobility is limited, that's actually a great thing uh, to test retest. So I'm curious if our elbow circles are gonna impact actually on your knee mobility. Um, the reason being we have uh, what's called interlimb neural coupling and cross cord reflexes, so fancy neurologic terms for uh, why the elbow actually relates to the knee as we walk. So with the elbow circle, we're gonna bring the arm up. I want you to do a little bit of sensory. So you're just gonna rub around that elbow, okay? Uh, sensory and motor, those areas live right next to each other. They're neighbors in the brain. So our sensory cortex is right next to the motor cortex. And because of that, we wanna combine sometimes a little sensation, tapping, rubbing, vibration, some type of sensation with the movement. So with the elbow circle, we're gonna start with palm up, a loose fist. We're gonna bring the hand in towards your face full elbow flexion here, come around the outside, full elbow extension. So I'm going slow at first, just so you can get a idea for your range of motion with nice, smooth, controlled movement first. And do a couple one direction and then come back around and go the other way. All right, and then if you're comfortable with that and you feel like you're getting that full capacity for range of motion, you could speed it up a little bit, okay? And from there, Hopefully we went opposite elbow to opposite knee. Um, that's what uh, I was working on there. So if you mirrored, we're doing great. We're gonna go ahead again, set up foot pointed and then drop into your knee flexion and get a feel for that. Um, same, better, worse is the question we typically ask. So is it the same range of motion? Did it feel the same? Did it feel better or did it feel worse? And did your range of motion increase or maybe decrease? Hopefully it increased. Um, let's go ahead and test the other side. So we're gonna again, point the foot, sit down into that deep knee flexion, and get a feel for how the foot feels, how the knee feels here. After checking range of motion, we're gonna to go to that opposite elbow again, and we're going to go through some circles. So staying long and tall, make sure you're breathing as you do your joint mobility work. And a few elbow circles on that other side, and then retest your knee. And for me, it feels a little bit better actually on that side in the knee. And hopefully it does for you too. Let us know if that helps. And we have more joint mobility in our daily joint mobility in our pain to performance series. Um, so that's in our app. We'll drop a link below if you want more information about that. Thanks.